everybody, it's your girl Jay and today I am here with my December 2020 TBR, the final TBR of the year, which is insane to me. If you are new to this channel, then you don't know this, but my mom actually picks the TBR every single month for me and she always has like a fun little theme to go along with it. So this month's theme is 2020 was a shit show, which is very accurate. She picked nine books this time instead of the usual five or six because I have a lot of time off of work because I work at a school program so schools are closed for Christmas. So got a lot of time off so without further ado let us get started. So this has a heavily focus on how 2020 was a shit show due to the coronavirus. So the first book that she chose was Little Do We Know by Tamara Island Stone and this is because little did we know at the beginning of this year it was gonna go so downhill. This is about a girl named Emery who has a best friend named Hannah. They have an argument and they've stopped talking. They're also next door neighbors. Emery wants nothing more than to mend their friendship before they go off to college. And then one night Emery finds Luke, Hannah's boyfriend, doubled over in his car after an accident and it's like the three of them trying to piece together what happened and I'm assuming that it has something to do with all three of them. I don't know though, but I'm intrigued. I loved Every Last Word by Tamara Islandstone, which is literally the reason why I bought this book, so I'm very excited to see if I enjoy this book as well. The next book that she chose is First by Laurie Elizabeth Flynn. Because this is the first time that a lot of us have to go into lockdown and quarantine and do everything to do with the coronavirus, so there's a lot of firsts for us. This follows a girl named Mercedes who has an open door policy for her bedroom. The only qualification that the boys need to have is that they are a virgin. And this is to ensure that they can get all of their awkward fumblings out with her so that when they go and get a girlfriend and it's that girl's first time, they will have a really good time the time that she didn't have. So I'm assuming something traumatic happened to her during her first time, so now she's just trying to help all the females out. I don't know. This has been on my TBR for so long, so it's a good thing she picked it because I need to actually read it. The next book that she picked is Best Laid Plans by Cameron Lund, and this is because we all had the best laid plans before the corona hit the world, but now, you know, a lot of our plans are out the door and we have to adjust to the world now. But all I know about this one is that it's a friends to lovers, which is one of my favorite tropes. It's always enemies to lovers or friends to lovers. They're complete opposites, but I love them both. So I'm very excited about this one. Apparently there's a lot of steamy kisses and a lot of pizza, so I'm excited. The next book that she has is Our Year of Maybe by Rachel Lynn Solomon. And this is because when everybody was discussing whether or not to go into lockdown, down it was maybe we should maybe we shouldn't so our year of maybe so this follows a girl named Sophie who has a crush on her best friend named Peter. Peter needs a kidney transplant and Sophie discovers that she is the perfect candidate and a match for Peter so she decides that she is going to give him her kidney. This makes Peter feel like he is in debt to her and he doesn't exactly like it so they start to grow apart and it's like the story of Sophie crushing on him, trying to get closer, him kind of pushing her away, and like what that means for them. So I haven't heard anybody actually talk about this book, so I have no idea if it is a good time or not. I feel like it's going to be very heart-wrenching because, you know, it's a transplant story. So we'll see how it goes. Hopefully I am emotionally prepared for it. The next book that I have is Welcome Home. This is an anthology about love and adoption. It's edited by Eric Smith. I actually started reading it back in 2018 and just haven't picked it up since then, but she chose this because a lot of people had to come home from university and trips and things like that due to the coronavirus, so welcome home. I'm 70 pages into this out of like 337, 340, so I got a ways to go, but at least we've gotten a start on it, so maybe we can read like one story a night and get it done by the end of December. The next book that she chose was 28 Days, A Novel of Resistance in the Warsaw Ghetto by David Saffer. She chose this because we had to quarantine for a very long time, so she just chose 28 Days as showing 
a long period of time. The back of the book says that it follows a teen girl in the Warsaw ghetto who must choose between saving or taking lives. I honestly have no idea what the Warsaw ghetto is, so I am very uneducated. I apologize, but we're gonna read the book and hopefully get educated. <laughs> the next book she chose was Just Breathe by Cami McGovern and she chose this because this year has been a very stressful year and everybody should just take a moment and just breathe, relax, and you know, self-care. And this follows a boy named David who is battling cystic fibrosis and a girl named Jamie who is battling depression and they end up meeting and it's like their love story. But again, this is one that I haven't heard anybody actually talk about, so I'm hoping that it's a good time. It says that it's for fans of Five Feet Apart and The Fold in Our Stars, which I've read both of those books and enjoyed them, so we'll see if we feel the same way about this one. The next book that she chose is All the Ugly and Wonderful Things by Bryn Greenwood, and she chose this because this year has been a lot but it has shown the ugly side of people but also the wonderful side of people so I know that this book has been labeled a little bit problematic due to the content inside of it. I think something to do with like grooming of a nine-year-old child or something like that. I'm not 100% sure. I'm one of those people who think that you need to read the book for yourself before you gain an opinion on it. That's what I'm doing. Hopefully I enjoy it and hopefully it's not something super, super, super problematic, but we'll see. And then the final book that I have is Someone We Know by Sherry LaPena. She chose this because a lot of people have someone that they know that has been affected this year by everything that's going on, but this book follows a neighborhood where there has been a lot of break-ins recently. It's discovered that it is a teenage boy who is doing these break-ins and he is very tech savvy so he's been breaking into the people's computers and like messing around on those. Then a woman is murdered in the neighborhood. Everybody is somehow knowing something about this murder so it's like the story of you trying to figure out what happened to this woman. I actually already read this book because I'm filming this on December 6th, but I give it four out of five stars. I really enjoyed it. It was a lot of fun. So I guess that's like a spoiler to my wrap up. I definitely recommend it. It's a lot of fun to read. It's very entertaining. So there you go. All right, everybody. So that was my December TBR for 2020. Let me know down below if you've read any of these books and what you thought of them. And I will see you all in my next video. Goodbye!